This is the first stop on Ella's tour of the northern suburbs. Ella is my eight-year-old canine friend and we live on the 15th floor of the Carlton Housing Commission block. Here we are in the playground of the flats. Around us you can hear the sounds of children in the park which generally keeps Ella on her toes. Uh, children always keep, keep Ella alarmed. Um, the main reason being, well she's never been particularly comfortable with, with kids, but um, early on in our stay at the Carlton Housing Estate, uh, we did come back from a particularly late night out and I wasn't quite aware of uh, my surroundings and before I realised uh, some of the children hit off a large firework display which um, in turn scared the crap out of Ella and she disappeared. After telling the children off I realised that uh, there was no way I could find Ella. And some 16 hours later, after checking all night, I called my friend who lived uh, some six or seven kilometres away and asked him if he'd like to join the search. And um, he duly informed me that she had found her way over to his house and was seeking refuge at his place. So now whenever she sees or hears children, um, yeah, as I said, she's a little less than relaxed. Okie doke, um, we've arrived at the second location of the tour. Uh, this is the Rathdown Carlton Street entrance to the Exhibition Gardens. Now Ella and uh, myself come to these gardens at least three to four times a week. Our gardens offer, um, well actually the gardens don't offer anything but we take uh, off leash walking occasionally to be um, chewed out by the local rangers who inform me over and over again that I'm doing something illegal but I think that my uh, wonderful companion is capable of interacting with those around her without being fierce. So we'll waltz on down towards the heart of the gardens. Oh hi. Oh. There I am, hiing to one of the people who I see and meet in the gardens. And it's one of the great things about having a dog is that uh, you get to meet so many people and who you don't have to have a deep relationship with, but um, you get to have that ca casual hi and by and those smiles that keep you through the day. Gardens are about an acre in size and they've got lots of big trees and um, nice shady places to sit and read a book and throw sticks for Ella and um, they also sport two ponds um, both of which Ella likes to go splashing in so um, we usually uh, if, if the day's if the day's fine we we'll usually um, take up position near the pond and Ella will keep going in to, ch to chase a ball or stick into the water and bring it out to be thrown back in. Now just over here about 50 metres away from where we're standing um, at four or five o'clock every day people will start to collect with their dogs and there's an unspoken rule that the rangers stay away for those couple of hours whilst people chat and throw balls and compare dogs and generally have a good canine time. Hey folks, um, we've arrived at the aforementioned pond uh, situated in the heart of the exhibition gardens. Um, so the pond's to my left and to my right are the old exhibition buildings and beyond that is the old museum. Now this, this pond um, serves Ella very well on hot days where we don't quite make it to the beach or, or we just want to be near the pond. Um, she uses it for drinking which I can't imagine would uh, necessarily pass world health standards but she also uses it for swimming and there she goes drinking now. You got the ball bar? Come on bring it out. Oh lovely! Okay, 
folks. We're here on Smith Street and um, we're approaching the last stop on Ella's tour of her favourite hangouts. A very loud motorbike somewhere in the surrounds. Now Ella's just having a little drink along the way here so we'll wait for her to lap it up and, and we'll head off. You ready to go Ella? And go and see Brian? Yes! Come on then. Now, the next and last stop on the tour um, is the Hogan Gallery and Cafe uh, slash Picture Framer. Now, it's run by a friend of mine by the name of Brian and his family. Over the years, Ella and I have dropped in for coffees for me and um, little doggy bites and, and lots of pats and affection for her from the guy. So. Here we are outside Hogan's Gallery and I can see Eve, uh, Brian's daughter, working behind the counter and Ella's getting very excited running up as she tends to do. Yes, Uncle Brian. Uh, she doesn't know where to go. She's very excited. As I say, we have about a three, three year history here so Ella's the de facto dog when these guys are at work and they have their own doggy at home. Oh, you so now, do you have anything to say uh, about uh, Ella's time here, Eve? Oh, I love seeing her every day. It's good. Oh, well, whenever Tom drops by, she always cheers me up. See, that's uh, the power of Ella. So. Oh, we missed some lovely squeaks there. I don't know if we could uh, hear them again. Baba! Oh, 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 oh. Do some squeaking? Oh, do some squeaking, Baba. Oh, you're quite so lovely. Oh, you're quite so lovely. Oh, you're quite so lovely. Okey-doke, folks. Well, there you have it. Um, those are just some of the wonderful places that Ella and I have had the um, joy to experience over our five years together. Uh, living in the Carlton Flats and their surrounds offers her with uh, a lot of friends and places to go. So this is the last stop for today. Hogan Gallery on Smith Street, Collingwood. Okay, thank you. This is the first stop on.